In this video, we discuss the successive approximation A to D converter working using a block diagram. The prerequisite to understand the successive approximation A to D converter is a counter type ADC. If you already know the counter type ADC, it will be easy to understand a successive approximation A to D converter. The basic difference between the counter type ADC and successive approximation ADC is the only one block. In a counter type ADC, we use a counter. In a successive approximation, we use a SAR. Counter basically gives you the counting 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, like that. But SAR, it gives a different output. What is that? That only we are going to discuss in the coming slides. Let us come to the searching. How do we search a given number in an array? Let us consider I have an x number given to you and you are searching in the array. You are comparing the x with the first element in the array, second element, third element. Up to the last element you are going to compare. And whenever it com comparison is true, you will say it is found. And how much time it takes to search the number, it depends on where that number is stored. If the number is stored in the first, as a first element, it takes very less time. If a number is stored as a last element, it takes more time. Now, let us come to the, any other searching methods are there. Say, Another is a binary search. But condition applies. The numbers are stored in either ascending or descending order. Consider eight numbers are they. How I search using a binary search algorithm. First, instead of searching with the first element, I will go to the middle element. There is a fourth element. Based on the result, true or false, or uh, I may switch out to the upper portion or lower portion. I may go to the 0, 1, 0 or I may go to the 1, 1, 0 or 6th or 2nd position. Every time I leave 50%, I will decide 50%. So, this is a binary search basic algorithm. Now, let us consider to understand in depth, 60 numbers are stored in the array and you are comparing. Now, how we do comparison in the binary search? First, we take a middle number, that is a center. When I take a 4 bits or 16 combination, middle becomes 1 double zero zero, 1 zero zero zero. That is the 8th position I will take, I will compare. Based on the comparison, if my x number is a small, then I have to search in the upper portion. Means I have decided the first bit means 0. No sir, my x number is more. Then I have to search in the lower portion. Here I am fixing the MSB as a 1. Similarly, let us consider my number is a small x. Then I have to go to the upper portion. I am searching. There again I will go, go for a division of 2. Now this is the first number I decided. Again, I have found that my number is in the upper portion. Again, I will divide it by 2, I will go to the center. Again, there, if it, the result is not true, again, I will divide it, again, I will go to the either 0010 0, 0 or 0110. Here, I am deciding the second bit as a 0 or 1. So, this is a basic block diagram of a successive approximation A to D converter. The working is based on the binary search logic. Searching is very fast, n bit conversion is only takes a n clock minutes. And like counter, we are representing here SAR, SAR is the heart of the circuit. And SOC is a start of conversion, SAR is the uh, EOC is the end of a conversion. And whenever SOC is given, SAR sets a MSB and other bits will be set to zeros. If 4 bits are there, 1 double 0 0. If 6 bits, 1 remaining 0. 8 bits, first bit is 1 remaining all are 0. In general, if I have n bit, 
first bit is 1 remaining all n minus 1 bits are 0. Consider 3 bits for our discussion. No doubt the first bit will be set 1 remaining as 0 means 1 double 0. Now the DAC generates an equivalent voltage V2 which is shown in the diagram. Then if a comparator output is low that indicates V2 is greater than VI. So, whenever V0 is low, SAR clears the MSB and next LSB is set to 1. Then this SAR output becomes 0, 1, 0 if the comparator output becomes low. If a comparator output becomes high, uh, low, so this is shown in the diagram 1, 0, 0, either it will switch out to 0, 1, 0 or 1, 1, 0. Now, in this slide, we discussed how it will move from 100 to 010. Again, if it is a high V0, then SAR keeps MSB as it is and next LSB is set to 1. Initially it was 100, now it will be made 1, next bit also 1, third bit 0. So this process is repeated for two more clock pulses. If you are not understanding also, I am sure you will understand after another 2-3 slides. Theoretically, I am talking. Next slides, I am going to take an example how zeros and ones will be set. I am going to explain. This repeats up to the B0 and uh, its speed is high compared to the linear search. To take an example. Let us consider V1 input voltage I am giving, whose equivalent digital is a 10111010 as shown in the first line. Now SAR will be first time, what is the output of the SAR? We have discussed already. MSB will be 1, remaining bit will be zeros. What is the output of the SAR? 1, all zeros. Now DAC will give the equivalent voltage. At that voltage and V1 will be compared. Means two numbers are compared indirectly. What is that number? 1 all zeros. 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 0. What might be the output of the comparator? Definitely it will be high. Because V1 is more compared to V2. Whenever comparator becomes high. Next is SAR keeps a MSB as it is. And next LSB will be set to. 1. Again, this is repeated. Now, first bit you have decided. It is a 1. Next, again, SAR output 1100, zero, whatever is there is compared. It is converted into da, uh, voltage. V2, V2 is compared with the V1. Again, the comparator output is this time low. Then, what SAR does? It makes that present bit 0, next LSB made 1. So this is a what you have to observe, what you are supposed to understand in a SAR algorithm. This continues. Again next time, now it becomes a 101 remaining zeros SAR output. This is converted into voltage V2 which is compared with the V1. Output of the comparator, even you can compare the V1 and V2 or you can compare the two numbers written beside a V1 and V2. The output of the comparator is high. What it does now, SAR, whenever high comes, SAR keeps the MSP present as it is. Next, LSB will be set to 1. Again, this continues. Again, comparator root becomes high. What it does? It sets the present bit 1. Next bit will be set to 1. This repeats. Now, the output of the comparator becomes low. What the SAR does? It makes the present bit 0. Next bit will be set to 1. So like this, it continues until and unless it finishes all the bits. This is the way how it converts the V1 voltage into equivalent binary. 
This is a same example. Let us consider I have given a VI whose equivalent digital is 10110010. Initially, SAR starts with a 1 all zeros. The output is high. MSB kept as it is. Next bit made 1. Again, comparison continues. This time, output is low. Again, present bit made 0. Next bit made high. Again, comparison done. Output is 1. Again, it keeps the present MSB as it is. Next, LSB made as 1. This continues unless you get the complete output. The basic difference between the counter type and successive approximation is what? Only there I use a counter which was counting but here I am using a successive approximation register which will not give the zeros and ones one by one. It will work based on the binary search. Thank you for seeing this video.